Assalamu alaikum, welcome back to my channel. I hope that the audio is better this time around. Um, I just wanted to say thank you to those of you who've been supporting my October. Today's video is gonna be a get rid of me and I'm gonna try and be as like real open and raw as I can. I did film a similar one the other day and I just felt really ugh about posting it but then a few of you guys said on Twitter like, you should just post how you feel. Like the, those videos are the most relatable and I agree like when I watch um, other people share how they're like really feeling and being a bit more vulnerable I feel like I can relate to them a bit more but it's not an easy thing to do by any means so yeah I'm just gonna do my base today um, I've already done my corrector and then my eye makeup I'm gonna do for another video but if you're interested in a super raw honest talking video then keep watching <laughs> Right, so basically, I've just been going through it the last two and a half weeks, I want to say. I kind of started when we sat down and to watch um, our wedding film. And I've watched a wedding film before, like I watched it when we were living back near my family. But watching it again this time, it I don't know, it just felt like the waterworks just started and I got so emotional watching the speeches and just seeing everyone and I just started crying and it was in front of my in-laws. It was just embarrassing, you know, like bawling basically. And I think it comes down to the fact that the last 10, no, the last 12 months have been absolutely insane. I've had like the highest highs and then like I've had some pretty, pretty, like tough lows to deal with as well. The biggest one definitely being that yesterday, a year ago, my cousin passed away really suddenly. And I did do a little video on that last year. And I put it up on Instagram as well. It was just such a sudden death. You know, she didn't have any illnesses. She was perfectly healthy as far as like we were aware. And <sighs> Trying to process that someone who, yes, she lived in Pakistan, but she's still, you know, a big part of our life and she'd come and stay with us for a summer. And when we, like, go to Pakistan, like, we spend so much time with her and she just literally, like, like the light and soul of the family. Like, trying to process how someone so young and so full of life can just be taken like that. Like, it really does hit you hard. Um, so obviously in that sense like October is always a bit of a, a difficult month and I have been posting every single day this, well almost every single day this month. I've been trying to keep myself really busy with YouTube and social media but obviously like I think what we all have to like remember is that what you see of any kind of creators social media life is what they want you to see and you don't necessarily see or you never really see unless they choose to share with you like how they're feeling what they're going through you know what what's going on in their life at that moment and for me I think October is is forever going to be a bit of a, a difficult month in that sense because it's just it's hard to accept something that you have no control over and I guys I'm just going to do my eyebrows and then um, the next clip you'll see after this will be like my eye makeup done and then we'll get back to talking but I, I am aware that I've already discussed like four different topics and there's like no structure to this video which is weird for me because I'm getting used to having a structure and this is such a rambly video for me which I'm not used to doing I haven't done a proper like raw get rid of me in a while okay, I've given up filming that eyeshadow look because it's just turned out to be so shambolic and not what I'd uh, wanted to do so I'm just gonna carry on this get ready with me video with my eye makeup here but yeah so basically yeah the last couple of weeks I have really just been struggling I've been on the struggle bus and I like I was saying I think it's because the first time in the last 12 months that my life has kind of stood still where I've not being extremely busy doing something and usually that is with work and I think although like full-term work is exhausting and especially like being a teacher like it's mentally like very very draining the 
advantage of it, I suppose, is that you're so busy that you don't really have time to think about X, Y, and Z. And then when your life does stand still, like, suddenly all of these feelings that you've kind of been maybe bottling down subconsciously, they start coming up and you have to deal with them. It's not been easy for me, it's not been easy for Gar, it's not been like an easy thing to go through because pretty much like almost every single day I've cried and it's not always like out of sadness, like sometimes it's, it's literally been like I'm so blessed that my doors have been answered and this is where my life is right now but I would be like lying if I said that change has been easy to adjust to and I read this thing on Instagram and it, it basically said like change um, is a form of grief. It doesn't mean that you're not doing the right thing or you've made the wrong choice, it just means that you're, you're grieving a, a part of like how life used to be. It's hard to adjust to but what makes it like extra hard, by the way I've just put Creamy Beige by LA Girl on, on my under eyes but I'm also going to use a bit of Kevin O'Quan because this is very very peachy I'm just going to use a bit of Kevin O'Quan to brighten. But yeah like what is like the hardest thing is when not like one part of your life changes but like everything in your life changes. For me when we first got married the, the things that stayed the same were my job. I was still working at the same place you know that was a consistent and then the location like being near my family like we were not living in the same house that I grew up in but we were still living pretty nearby to my family and so the biggest change was being married and like learning to live with your husband but it wasn't like too hard because it, like like I said everything else was the same and then basically after summer so from September onwards you, know, you guys know that I'm like now living in Scotland and that means that I'm living far from my family which has been an adjustment to make also just living in a different setup to what we have been used to for the last seven months and alhamdulillah like there's so many so many like benefits and positives and and I could go on about those for ages and I'm not gonna go into either either the benefits or like the negatives because that's not really what this video is about but it's just the, the fact that everything in my life changed like I went from working full time and being super super busy with work to now not working and looking for work and that's a hard thing to do in itself like you, anyone who is has been unemployed out there knows going from depending on yourself for your income having that independence that you know and that ability of thinking like I'm earning and I'm putting money away or towards what I want to etc to then being like okay I'm actually out of work now I need to find the perfect job I need to find the right job like it's it's mentally draining I was talking to a friend of mine who's going for a similar thing she actually had a very similar experience to me not in Dubai but in this country where she thought she'd found like her dream job and and um, they turned they turned around and said like sorry there is no job and it's just shattering because you you work so hard to get towards that that place where you can have that job I literally did my degree with the the opportunity like the idea to work abroad in mind like that's why I went into teaching I didn't just go into teaching because I enjoy working with children because if that was the case I could have like chosen different career routes I could have gone into tutoring child minding like there's different things you can do where you don't need to have a degree and we were talking about it yesterday and how like if you get a degree in England you're actually investing so much money into that degree that has to be really worth it and for me like the money that I invested was so that I could have the career opportunities that I hope to have and that doesn't mean that like now that it's like it hasn't worked out one time that I'm just gonna give up like that's not my plan but I'd be lying if I just sat here and said like yeah like I'm feeling really positive about everything and like it's going to be fine like lots of you actually commented and messaged me after my life update video and you were like mashallah like the way that you're dealing with this and handling this is, is really great and I kind of just guess I wanted to say like it's like like I've already said like you only see what people allow you to see and the reality is that I've had so many moments since then where I've just felt really really rubbish about it and I guess 
if we had gone to Dubai and if we're in Dubai right now and like my life hadn't slowed down or you know come to a pause at any moment up until then I would have found it really really hard to deal with being far from my family and starting this sort of new part of my journey in another country like that would have been even harder than it is like now the silver line into this cloud or you know where um in the ayah it says with every difficulty there is ease the ease here is that yes i'm far from my family but they're not that far and like if i really 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 need to go and see them i could be with them like within a couple of hours whereas if we we're in dubai that just wouldn't have been the case so like in a way, I guess you could say this is like the practice for when we do move, inshallah. It's just hard to like continuously like maintain positivity. And then when you don't feel positive, you start feeling guilty. Like when you start talking about how you feel, you start feeling like, wow, like I sound like I'm being so ungrateful right now. Sorry, if you hear snoring in the background, my husband's having a nap. So... <laughs> I know a few of you have noticed that on my Instagram stories who just um knock off to sleep while I'm recording it's it's fine like back to what I was saying like I don't want to ever come across as ungrateful or unhappy and I know that probably to like to my husband sometimes that might be the way that I'm coming across and it, and it makes me feel really upset afterwards after we've had a discussion because it's like I'm not ungrateful, I'm very grateful for the way life is right now, like, I made so much dua for life to be like this, like, I would be stupid to then, like, get my duas answered and then be really upset, but I think it's just the, the fact that when you have so much change in your life at one time, it's incredibly overwhelming, even to people who feel like they're very good at handling things or, like, I don't know, I just, I feel like, I felt like I'd been um, getting along with life really, really well and like getting, uh, like adjusting to marriage like quite well. Then obviously like after summer, like that's, that was when the real test started I think, was when like for me so much of things in my life changed. Because when we first got married for Wukka, it was, it was a lot of change for him. He was the one who moved from Scotland to England. He moved away from his friends and family. He moved away from his business. So he, he's he gone through what I'm going through now. And that kind of gives me like a little bit of solace because it's like, well, he got through it and he like managed to be strong enough to be fine. And you know, like a lot of, a lot of the days and a lot of times in the day, I'm very happy and I'm very positive and I'm, I don't feel upset but then it's every single day there's just something that just like triggers me I think that's the only way to say it like there's just something that upsets me and then it's it's hard because obviously being or being my spouse like he's the only one I can feel really comfortable like to speak to about it and it's a lot for one person to bear like it's a lot of emotional stuff for one person to um take and then I don't want I don't want that to like impact us in the long term and then like at the end of the day like like so much of the day like I'm uh, I'm happy and I'm I'm feeling really blessed and grateful and I think that's the key is like you have to keep fighting with your inner self and be like yeah okay this isn't how I wanted it to be or this your life is not going exactly how you want it to be but at the same time you've got this you've got this you've got this and like just count your blessings I think that's like what I'm coming to realise is like that's the only way you can really move on and grow from a tough situation and then it's, I don't know like there's a there's a balance as well between like how how much do you allow yourself to feel like if you keep sitting there and feeling sad for yourself then eventually that's just it's it's gonna impact you it's gonna impact your relationship it's gonna impact like your general day to day is you know like mentally it's not a good place to be in where you're just sitting there and you're just feeling just like oh my gosh there's so much change and I can't handle it and I think I've been in that space the last week and a half two weeks where I've just been like I feel like a fish out of water where it's kind of hit me that like this is my life at the moment and I don't know if that's like ever what I'd anticipated and because I hadn't anticipated it I'm finding it hard to deal with because like I said in my life update video like I've always had a 
goal I've always had like an end result in mind and even if like it's taken me a little while to get there alhamdulillah like I've always managed to do that and 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 then that's I need to keep thinking like that's the thing like I can get to my end goal inshallah and I can get to his end goal inshallah and we can do it together like as husband and wife it's just not in my control right now and that's I feel like I haven't really articulated myself well but essentially change is really 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 hard and it's just it's something that you have to go through and you have to adjust to and like I was I said in my previous get rid of me it doesn't matter like if you have got married and moved down the street or if you've got married and moved to another country or another continent like for a woman getting married and leaving her family home is so much like harder than it is ever gonna be like for the boy side and I don't know like how long it will take but I know that one day inshallah like it will this will be normal and it's not like I like because I was saying like I could go back home and like stay there for two weeks and then come here and stay here for two weeks but like I don't want to like have a long distance marriage and I don't want to split my time up because then when I'm there when I'm back home like after a couple of days like I really end up missing my girl. so it's like it's not a case of like let's just like split my time in half and, and whatever and I know part of it is because I'm not working at the moment so I don't have that constant busyness and you know I've got more time on my hands and and like that the good thing is I've got more time to be creative I've got more time to express myself I've got more time to do all these things that I've never had time to do before because I've pretty much always been either at school or working but then what I'm learning is that with that time like say if like YouTube was my job and then I had like deadlines to me and I had like proper goals in place then that would be different because I would like treat it as a job YouTube is not my job it's totally a hobby like any money I'm making is is pretty much like pennies like it's it's really not anywhere near I'm not anywhere near the level to consider this as my job so because of that I just have this extra time where I'm just like I start thinking and then maybe like start slightly overthinking and then that's just not healthy at all so I think inshallah when I do find work and that is obviously like the, the problem is now is like is that work going to be in Dubai or am I gonna have to wait until August now we don't know like only Allah knows that if it is the case that I have to wait till August then I'm gonna start looking for work here because I think that idle minds like end up being in, in negative head spaces and that's not a healthy place for me to be in it's not a helpful place for me to be in um in terms of like our marriage and it's not a health healthy place for me to be in in terms of like my mental well-being i've loved having a break and it's now like october 18th so i've loved having a break and really being able to rest and recharge but i know now like after this especially like after feeling so emotional and feeling so just exhausted i know now that what I really need is to get some consistency back in my life again and to stop relying so much on one person and that one person being my husband because it's not fair for him like he's doing the best that he can do and I think obviously I've been talking about this whole thing just based on my experience and I've not factored him into it in terms of this video but excuse me Make my YouTube debut. Okay, so on. YouTube's not ready for him yet, apparently. <laughs> okay, well, maybe maybe we could do a video one day. <clears throat> Mugar. Maybe like a one year into marriage. And how the first year is hard. They're not lying. Your first year of marriage is hard, okay? <laughs> but that's for another video. Let, let me know if you want to see that, like, first year into marriage. Because we're only almost 10 months in we've still got two months to go inshallah so yeah i think we should do that together though we're planning to leave in about half an hour this is gonna be a super long video wow it's gonna be a very long video so basically i've been in my feels i've been feeling a bit blah i've been feeling more sad than i need to really and i think the biggest thing like let's get really real here like the biggest thing is like that lack of the lack of praying on time, the lack of 
praying like with your whole heart and not just praying for the sake of praying for Allah like that is that's the reality of it and I'm not one of those people who thinks oh right if you've got depression it's because you're not close to Allah it's because you don't pray I don't think that but I do know that when my relationship with my salah and when my namaz is on point I'm just at another place of peace like another level of peace and I'm I've been through some really challenging difficult hard times and I've got through that because I've been able to get on my prayer mat and pray to Allah and I think it's very easy to be in a very happy good like exciting phase of your life and slightly loosen that grip and and lose that a little bit and then it hits you really hard that actually this is what I need in my life if you don't have like your relationship with Allah then what do you actually have like I know religion is a touchy subject even amongst Muslims and I know that we're all on our own journey and I am far from perfect for sure if we want to be really real like that's definitely something that I'm lacking and please do keep me in your du'as because I definitely don't want to be lacking in that anymore like I want to have my salah on point because yeah this life is full of many tests and that's one thing that just won't be forgiven which is quite scary when you think about it not giving Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 17 minutes out of the thousands of minutes that you get in a day I don't know if I should wear lashes guys I don't know if I should wear lashes I wish you could all reply to me right now actually <laughs> wait I've got a husband right there husband should I wear lashes yes okay he said yes Oh, also guys, I've started itemising all of my makeup, which means I've got a book and I've literally listed out, well, I've only done my foundations, concealers and half my blushes so far, but I'm listing out everything that I own. And that way, number one, I'll be able to be making more detailed content, like for example, like my collection of NARS blushes, because I have so many, or like the best foundations for winter time or you know do you know what I mean like I'll be able to see exactly what I have in front of me written out but also I'll be able to keep track of what I've still got open I'm really excited as well because now I can finally do videos like my favorite lips liquid lipsticks my top five liquid lipsticks from Colourpop the best nudes for like Asian skin tones that sort of thing so yeah it's just nice to have like my makeup all out again some of it was in the attic by the way this is everything nice it's such a beautiful nude but my lips are so horrendously dry oh, I forgot how much I love this shade this is like my perfect nude shade and what I'm gonna do is just take Fenty uh, the gloss bomb with me as well because my lips are so dry and sometimes like a liquid lipstick can just look horrendous when you've got dry lips. Well, not sometimes, it usually does. So if I feel like my lips are looking horrendous, then I will pop this on. We've got a double date today, which is so exciting. And guys, you like my earrings? I am going to be doing an earring haul in the next couple of weeks because I got loads of earrings and I really, really want to get my second hole done and I want to get like a third hole done as well on one of the ears. So... Yeah, I'm thinking about getting it done in the next few weeks. I might vlog it. The only thing is my ears are like very dry. They're just, I've just got dry skin on my ears. So hopefully that's not going to stop them from doing that. But anyway, I'm just going to be wearing this hijab and this Bambi jumper. And then probably like a cape and a jacket and boots because it is so wet and rainy today. It's unbelievable. I've just put glue on my lashes and I'm using this for the first time. It's a duo strip lash adhesive but this is a dark tone i didn't know they did a dark tone one well yeah i'm just letting those get tacky and my brows are looking very sparse i mean i've got sparse brows anyway and then i cleaned around them today so i'm just gonna use this essence make me brow which is amazing it just adds so much texture i realized that i also have that abh one i remembered i had like when i was editing my skincare haul back i was like oh my gosh i got that that amazing, expensive brow thing. I really do struggle with my brows though, guys. Like, so many times I look back at videos and pictures and I'm like, why were they so dark? Why? I just wanted to say that, you know, this was not a video about me complaining about my life or me just complaining. 
I'm just being as real and open and honest as I can be. Life is not all sunshines, butterflies, rainbows, daisies, um, and there's swings and roundabouts in every part of your life. Learning to live with someone, not in this, for me, like I said, not in the sense of like actually having someone in your own space, like that's fine. We adjusted to that really well, alhamdulillah. But learning to be around each other all the time and to communicate properly, by the way, Good choice, Wakar. These lashes look bomb diggity. They are style 05. I will link the seller that I got them from below. These are perfect and they're such a good fit for my eyes. You're going to be seeing these a lot more on my channel because I like to wear my lashes a good 10 to 15 times at least before I feel like they're just too much. <laughs> but yeah, look at the difference. Damn. Insane. And you can still see my eyeshadow. So yeah, very happy with these lashes. Sorry, back to what I was saying. Um, it's not me complaining. It's not me wishing my life was different. I don't. Alhamdulillah, I'm very happy. But like I said, if you want a video on the first year of marriage in a couple of months, then let me know. And even if Wakar doesn't want to be in it, I'll get him to share his views and opinions, you know, because he, obviously he still has them, even if he doesn't want to be on this platform, which I totally respect and understand. But yeah, marriage is not easy, but it is definitely like a learning process. And like I said, Alhamdulillah, I'm so blessed to be married to someone who I consider as my best friend. And learning to communicate is so key when you get married. Even if you feel like you could communicate with them pretty well before, or even if you felt like you knew them pretty well before, like communication after marriage is literally like the make or break of it within the first year. But yeah, anyway, change is hard but change is inevitable. If you're not changing, your life's not moving forward, you're not growing as a person. So yeah, just keep me in your du'as. You guys are always in my du'as. I always make du'a for you all. And I hope that you are doing really well. I better go now because we are supposed to be leaving soon. So I will see you very soon. Take care of yourselves. And if you like this makeup look, or if you just enjoyed my very honest, open chat with you all, then give this video a thumbs up before you leave. Bye.